Hey YouTube, it's ICU, and today I'm going to share with you guys my new list of top five Cydia tweaks for jailbroken devices on iOS 7 through 7.0.4 and 7.0.5 for certain non-US iPhone 5S and iPhone 5C models. First of all, my original list of top Cydia tweaks for the Evasion 7 Untethered Jailbreak consisted of a combination of free and premium tweaks, whereas the second list was comprised of entirely free packages available in Cydia. So if you missed either of those videos, I highly recommend watching them. I'll have links to them on the screen now via annotations if you're on the desktop version of YouTube. And if you happen to see anything that wasn't explicitly detailed in this video, I highly recommend going to both of those because I guarantee you it will be mentioned there. Also, if you aren't jailbroken yet and you're watching this video, you will need to jailbreak. So there will also be an annotation to my Untethered Evasion 7 jailbreak tutorial. Once you're jailbroken, you can come back to this video and proceed with obtaining the tweaks detailed. All right, let's just get right into this video. And as I mentioned before, this time around, I'm going to give you guys a list of five top Cydia tweaks and not 10. If you guys want additional tweaks, just be sure to check out my previous videos. And now bringing over my iPhone 5S, we're going to get into the first tweak being slow-mo mod. You can find it inside of Cydia from the default repos, and once you have it installed, simply open the settings app, navigate to the settings pane for it, and then from here you will have a few different options. Now essentially slow-mo mod enables slow-mo video recording for devices that are unsupported in iOS 7. Now certain older devices such as the iPhone 4, iPhone 4S, iPad 2, the third generation iPad, and the fourth generation iPad can only record in 30 frames per second. However, newer devices can record slow-mo at 60, whereas the iPhone 5S can record it up to 120 frames per second instead of the default 60. You can also enable it for all previous videos, so you get the option to edit older videos in slow-mo. And of course, below that, you can toggle the slow-mo effect and you have a few different options. So I highly recommend getting this, especially if you don't have an iPhone 5S or if you want to bump up your iPhone 5S's slow-mo capabilities to 120 frames per second. All right, and the second tweak in this video is called No Ad Store Open. It's really great, and it takes care of something that most people find incredibly annoying on jailbroken devices. So I'm going to open up Cydia here, and it should bring up that listing for it. As you can see, No Ad Store Open, and essentially what it does is it prevents Cydia from opening certain ads in the App Store. So as you can see here, we have an advertisement for Spotify, which is definitely an iOS app, so you know this would open in the App Store normally. Well, now when I tap on it, instead it just keeps me inside of Cydia, and it doesn't actually open the App Store app and close out of Cydia, causing you to reopen it and causing it to reload. So now you can just go back, and it's not nearly as annoying as before if you were to accidentally click on an ad. That happens to be an app that would have opened in the App Store. Not all Cydia packages have ads for apps, but most do. So I highly recommend getting it for everybody. Again, all you have to do is search for no ad store open, all one word inside of Cydia and install it. Next we have Tiny Bar, which is essentially like Diet Bar for iOS 6. However, Diet Bar didn't get updated, so Tiny Bar essentially takes its place. It basically allows you to adjust the size of notification banners, and you can even make it to where it just takes up the small size that is the status bar. And now opening up the settings app, we're going to go into the settings pane for tiny bar. As you can see, once I open it up, we have a few different settings here. The first of which is to enable it. And then we have the option to have the message actually scroll to the end. We can show the title, show the icon, and we also have some finer controls here for the size of the notification banner itself. So let's actually go ahead and test it. And to do that, I'm going to enlist the help of my Pebble smartwatch. If you guys miss my review of it, I will have it linked to now in an annotation. So I'm going to just send a basic message to myself. And as you can see, now we have the notification. They're not nearly as obtrusive as they were before. And it just simply scrolls through as so. So Tiny Bar is really great. I highly recommend downloading it. You can find it by searching for Tiny Bar inside of Cydia. Coming in fourth, we have Jelly Lock 7. So going into it from the settings app, we can add different shortcuts to the lock screen. So for the first shortcut, I just added Activator, and then we have a couple of other customizable options as well. I'm not 
not really going to go over them right now. So on the lock screen here, as you can see, I have a replacement for the slide to unlock text. Now I just have a circle and I can drag it to the different shortcuts that I have or I can drag it to unlock. Now it isn't working with activator right now, but if I were to set it to a stock iOS app, I'd just be able to drag to it, release, and then it would open to it so long as I didn't have a passcode set. So I just like the way it looks though, because I just use virtual home to easily and quickly unlock my iPhone 5S. But Jelly Lock 7 is really great and I think a lot of people will like it. All right, and finally for the fifth one, we have a premium tweak called Weasel. There aren't really any settings for Weasel. All you have to do is just select the activator methods. And then from there, when you actually perform those tasks or those methods, it will bring up this little Weasel prompt here. It's very similar to Spotlight, except you can't access it anywhere and it actually has more functionality than spotlight so for instance if i were to type in sy for system it would give me the list of system commands and then from there i can type in things like respring reboot power off turn off wi-fi etc and i'd actually just be able to tap whichever one i was looking for so if i wanted to respring all i have to do is activate weasel and then type in respring and it will actually respring it directly from this interface now you can also do things like search for different applications you can search for things on the web you you can even define things. If you were to type in define Titan, for instance, it would bring up the dictionary icon here and I can tap into it and I get the definition for Titan. It's a really great tweak. The only thing that I found that's wrong with it is unfortunately it keeps disabling my orientation lock. I leave orientation lock on all of the time because I don't like when my iPhone goes into landscape mode Ever. So that's really annoying. I hope the developer fixes it. I've been in contact with him. And other than that, I recommend Weasel. All right, so I hope you guys like this video. Just a really quick one on five of my new favorite Cydia tweaks. If you guys want a list of my previous top tweaks, again, just be sure to check out my other videos. Now, if you guys want a chance to enter to win a $100 Amazon gift card in this video, just be sure to rate it up. Leave a relevant comment down below in the comment section. Once your comment's been posted, you'll be automatically entered to win. And if you guys want to be updated more often, such as when I release new videos and cover jailbreak topics, just be sure to like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter. And until next time, this is ICU signing out.